So recently I've been in the market for a drone, a quadcopter, but not any normal drone or quadcopter. I've been looking for a freestyle slash race style drone. Now, what caught my interest with this hobby was I was scrolling through Instagram the one day, looking for, through those reels or like TikToks or something, and I found this guy named It's Ken FPV. Yo, shout out to this dude, because honestly, this guy is insane. So basically, I found his content on Instagram, and he flies freestyle drones. As we can see here, like, look at this. This looks insane. <laughs> it looks so cool. So basically, what he does is he uses a FPV drone with goggles, and he rips it around and does different freestyles like flips and tricks and all kinds of cool stuff and it looks insane and it's caught my interest like crazy so today I actually managed to pick myself up one of these FPV drones freestyle drones for like dirt treat cheap in a big combo package and I'm super hyped about it so today I'm just gonna be showing you guys the actual drone that I got and we're doing some test footage and just checking it out it's gonna be the 240 mojo vortex 230 mojo sorry don't want to mix that up and we're gonna do an unboxing on it and a review and then in another video I'm gonna cover all the stuff that I actually got in this huge package which was insane so stick around my dudes let's get right into this video and let's show you everything about this vortex 230 mojo not 24 230 all right let's get it started <laughs> First test flight. Yeah, we lost a couple of propellers. <sighs> All right, that's how you destroy your propellers off your first flight. <laughs> and it was doing so well, too. It was. I don't know why it keeps losing connection in the air. It keeps randomly losing connection. Maybe the wind's too strong. I don't know. The, the video signal was awesome, though. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it was a good time. <laughs> All right, so as you guys have seen, that wasn't the best first flight. I 
didn't intend to crash it that much uh, two times in a row. But I'm going to go over some of the reasons why I think it crashed and some of the things maybe I could have prevented from my first flight. Because like I said, I was, I don't know if I said this earlier in the video because it's been a couple days, but I have been playing on, on a simulator for, I have about four to six hour playing time on a simulator and then going straight into acro bat mode is like a little bit crazy but i'll quickly show you guys the drone we'll go over the damage all right so here is the drone here and it did survive the crashes now in the video you guys seen it got whipped out of the battery um the battery strap part there um, i'm going to talk about some things that i might do to make this a little bit better in the future um over here we actually lost a propeller here we broke one here that one in the back left is good and we broke one here now i did notice this as well though if you hold the screw you hold the motor we can actually move the um propeller a bit so that must not have been tightened on very well um newbie mistake you know what i mean first time owning a drone i guess i didn't tighten it enough which i thought i was snugging them up but i think they're like got lock nut kind of to them so they're, they're a little snug when you're screwing them on. So that, that's, how it, that's how it went down. It survived though, didn't scratch the camera. I took a chip out of my GoPro. Here's my uh, GoPro over here. As you can see, I got a chip out of the GoPro, which good thing this GoPro is pretty old. But as we can see, it survived and it didn't actually really damage it that much. Like honestly, this thing's a trooper. It fell from pretty high up and it did a barrel roll. Now I'm gonna talk about a few things that I think may have caused this to all go wrong. Now, for one, I seen videos about this drone and having the antennas on the backside. I believe the guy changes the orientation and he puts them through the mid, maybe something to do with the carbon fiber frame, causing uh, issues because in the first crash here, I actually lost control when I went to do it. I flip now I know for the first <laughs> session I probably should have been doing a flip I don't know what I was thinking I was just trying to get some epic footage for you guys and I thought I was being baller and just doing a flip you know do a flip but uh, yeah that didn't pay off in the, in the end but thankfully that didn't break it and then you know the second crash was uh, th that was just bad so the first crash I think what happened is I lost communication with the antennas the antennas are back here and I did see a video like I was saying of a guy did them in the mid so I might look into mid mounting it so another thing I noticed the GoPro went whipping out of this uh, harness here on crash it wasn't secured enough which was probably obvious and uh, there is mounts you can buy to put the GoPro on which maybe we'll do that in the future um, but if you don't crash it works great um, over here the battery did fly out as well so either I didn't tighten it enough or maybe because I tightened it around the cable it wasn't snug enough and I was all in a rush it was freezing it was like a winter storm outside basically when I decided to do this I was impatient and I just wanted to fly the thing okay um, but honestly it survived it looks great the antenna's all in good shape and everything but um, my plan is is getting velcro straps for the batteries changing the location of the radio frequency for the controller uh, for the receiver there and yeah that is my plan for an upgrade here just to fix it up and of course buy new propellers because now i only have four extra ones and three are now broken so we only have five propellers left so i'll definitely have to invest in some more propellers now, like I said, this was my very first drone, very first FPV footage. Uh, I'm going to probably look back on this day and call myself a noob and laugh about it. I think it was hilarious. But to be honest, I was in kind of a good mood about it. Like, it wasn't that big of a deal. It broke a couple of propellers. If I broke the camera on it or something, I would have been so upset. But honestly, I think it turned out pretty good. If you guys did enjoy this unboxing slash fail first flight review, then definitely smash the like button. Don't forget to smash sub because I will be creating more FPV content in the future. I do plan on it. I really, really really like this and it's quite interesting for me to make so thank you for watching my dudes and peace out i hope you guys enjoyed this review on the 230 mojo peace out dudes <clears throat> ice in my veins i've been driving this train years in this lane there's no stopping this flame because i came to the game and i changed it to play how i like